What up, Bear Squad? This is Polar Bear here. I got a little bear in the picture today. Uh, she's gonna be with us on the next video as well. I wonder if the mic is too far away. I'll bring it a little bit closer and talk to you guys. So uh, we're here at our Subaru dealership location today. Uh, this is going to be a really hefty video. I'm looking forward to see how long you guys stick around. I'm going to have a couple of hidden Easter eggs throughout the uh, throughout the comment section. I want you guys to comment them as we go. This is really funny. That guy just handed me his phone, or wanted to hand me his phone because the last time we were in here, um, the guys uh, got with me and we played a joke on him. We took his phone. And we took it and stuck it in the bottom of that machine. <laughs> and he, he had to buy his phone out of the vending machine. It was hilarious. It was really, really funny. It falls back on uh, building relationships with your uh, with your locations. Uh, you want to build friendships with everyone there. It really, really helps out with everything. I uh, forgot something in the van, so we gotta run back and grab it real quick. But I think I do this several times. Actually, I think we continuously left stuff in the van but uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff to do at this location this location as you guys saw earlier was super super empty lots and lots of stuff to do we've got some pretty heavy snow coming down but uh, that cart has really really helped out a lot the uh, little bear saw the TV and went straight for it I don't know if she's still on the phone or something she's on some sort of device you know, she's got to be on some sort of device to keep her keep her occupied for a little while. I'm gonna open this sucker up, and uh, you can see <laughs> Cheetos everywhere. You can tell that I put them behind everything else. <clears throat> I try really hard this time around to uh, have Cheetos in their own section and not really use them quite as much as a uh, as a background thing. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this. Uh, what do I do with expired product? The ones that I just pulled are expired. I'm going to answer that question on, uh, on today's video. I usually take that stuff and I have a location that accepts it and uh, I sell it for 45 cents there. Uh, very inexpensive. While we're here guys, <coughs> in the description below, I'm going to release this video early, obviously, um, if you're watching it already, but uh, I'm going to be on a podcast I'm gonna release this uh, I'm gonna release this video an hour before the podcast starts so I'm gonna be on a podcast and there will be a link in the description below to the channel of the podcast that I'm gonna be on I'm really really looking forward to doing it um, it's with the uh, forever self-employed podcast and clips and like I said, I'll have a uh, I'll have a link in the description below. I'm super stoked about it. We're going to talk about some good stuff, I think. And, uh, a lot of stuff that I don't particularly touch on too much in the vending and or like on this channel, just because uh, I need to meet a certain standard of video quality over here. And some of the some of the more technical videos just don't perform well, so we'll probably be talking a lot about stuff like that. Um, but I'm really excited about it. You can see we <laughs> we pulled a lot, a lot of chips out of there. <coughs> We've got quite a few to go. Uh, so we're gonna fill up this column of Cheetos here, get that all full up and good to go. And then we're gonna break into the next item, I believe. Get some of this stuff out of the way. We get uh, famous Amos, the Danishes, the Chex Mix. The crunch bars, gotta love the crunch bars, guys. All right, so we are gonna throw some bold Doritos in there, some spicy nacho Doritos. These guys were actually really excited when I told them I was gonna be putting the uh, spicy chips in there. They're stoked about that. Spicy chips have been doing really, really well. Uh, while we're here talking about this, uh, I actually have to go and do an emergent, not like a service tomorrow, but I gotta, uh, I gotta go down and fix a bill acceptor. That's gonna be fun. Um, the bill acceptor at our salsa bottling plant stopped working this morning. I was gonna go down today, but I wound up having to work on something else as well. I have another announcement to make too, actually. Uh, we have a location that we've never really been able to film at, and um, that location's never performed well. 
but uh, it performed pretty decent this month. Um, we're going to be doing... You guys got to stay tuned because we're going to be making so many changes come the end of the month after Christmas. We've got, what, one, two machine, one, two, two brand new machines coming, or uh, refurbished machines coming in. And then uh, the snack machine at our salsa bottling plant is going to come out. And uh, that's going to go into storage for a little while until we find a location. Um, the other machine that comes in is going to go to our Hyundai dealership. That uh, soda machine is going to come out of there and go to the location we can't really film at. And then that machine is going to come out. We're going to update all the machines in storage. And then uh, it's going to be time for us to start looking for new locations. And I know, I know you guys have been super, super excited about uh, figuring out how to get locations. So I'm going to try to do some in-depth videos on how to get locations and uh, kind of dive real deep into that, how it's done. So you can see we filled that top rack up really, really well. Um, we didn't have to put Cheetos behind a whole lot. I think instead of putting Cheetos behind stuff, we're gonna put cheese its behind there because cheese its sell really, really well everywhere. Um, I'm always out of them every time I go to service machines. The next thing we're going to work on here, <coughs> I believe, is going to be our, yep, it's going to be our chips. Guys, is the, uh, the video is a little less shaky, right? We're doing a little bit better. As I say that, I turn my head a lot. But uh, I slowed it down quite a bit, and I think we've got, uh, I think we've got a nice, smooth picture here. I'm going to go through and fill everything up that I possibly can. You're going to see me move some stuff around, too. This is going to be a pretty good video. We're, what, six minutes into it here. It's, uh, we got the good old Fritos, the chili Fritos. Little bear's coming over to say hi. We got the chili Fritos. We got a stuff in that sucker. It's going to be a whole bunch of fun. I think, I don't know for sure, but I think the, uh, the other box of chips. Oh, man, is it out in the van still? Oh, Nope, it's right there. We're good. We're good. The other box of chips is right there. Cool. So, there's chili Fritos in that other box as well. I think we're going to be using those. Did I open it up there? Oh, no. We're going to hop into the smart food. And uh, on this time around, it was also our stowaway for our money. <laughs> I usually, I actually have a lock box in the van that uh, that goes into. It's uh, secured to the floor, so you can't really get at it. There we go. We've got our good old smart food. Gotta love the smart food. Smart food's good stuff. So I'm trying to be careful about how I do this. I probably should have put some of those blues up top now that I'm looking at it again. I'm trying really hard to get the color mixture right. <coughs> But uh, it's difficult sometimes. There's our Fritos. We got our chili Fritos. We got some uh, purple chips over there. Are we gonna put the purple chips in? I can't remember if we did or not. I think we did. Purple chips, maybe? I don't know. Thinking about it. No, we're gonna go over to this guy now. Blue chips. We got the blue chips, that's what's gonna go in there. Gotta love them blue chips. So, uh, I wanna talk a little bit about the Amazon orders, uh, Amazon and uh, Sam's Club. Some of the stuff won't ship. Uh, some of the stuff that they have available, um, they just won't ship it for some reason. Has anyone else had an issue with that before? I'm really curious, but uh, there is some stuff I still have to go to my local place for. Otherwise, I have to drive all the way down there and get it. Like, uh, it's random stuff, too. I think Milky Way was one of them. Crunch Bar was one of them. I had to go to BJ's to get those. It was really weird to me that, they, uh, that they'd ship everything else, but they just wouldn't ship some of these items. It was a little bit different. Um, Amazon's not quite the same way. It just doesn't... Uh, they just don't make any sense financially, like, uh, they just wouldn't make any money. Oh man, those jalapeno, 
those things right there, <coughs> those are already selling really, really well. I'm really shocked at how well they're doing. I tried, uh, I tried one and they're delicious. Oh, how about some Takis to Takis? Takis? What are they called? I don't know what they're called. Some of those Takis things, and uh, those are bursting full of flavor. I ate like a quarter bag of chips and I was full. Have you ever been full off of chips before? It's a weird feeling. I'll tell you what. We got our Chex Mix. We're gonna hop in there, get those. So I am going to stop buying the variety packs of Chex Mix and I'm just going to be doing the blue Chex Mix from now on. Uh, just because I really, I want to start getting to a point where um, I'm ordering boxes of everything. We're almost there. I think we're going to be there soon actually. Like if we can get like one or two more locations, I think we'll be at a point where we can have boxes of everything instead of these variety packs which leave us with enormous amounts of Cheetos. Cheetos for days. Little Bear was after some regular chips. <laughs> she had to have them. You know, throw our cheese its in there. You can see we've got uh, we've got our Lay's drawer up top and then we've got like our variety down there. It's a, it's a nice little mix of stuff that we've got down there pretty decent stuff uh, so yeah we're gonna we're gonna start looking for new locations soon guys I'm really really excited about that we're uh, we just hit the 10 11 almost 12 minute mark here so uh, if you made it here if you made it this far go ahead and comment we're uh, new locations um, and I'll know that you made it to the 12 minute mark and uh, We'll probably hit it up again at another random spot and come up with another one for you guys to comment. What kind of little game we'll start playing. Guys, the Pop-Tarts. I got the Pop-Tarts. I'm so excited about Pop-Tarts. I'm really excited that uh, we're making progress and being able to <coughs> pur purchase products that we weren't er able to purchase before. Something really exciting happened today. Um, I got my... I got my online account set up with my Coke bottler, so now I can uh, I can pay my bills online. For those of you who have accounts with Coke, um, curious, are they as difficult to pay for you as it is for me? They are very very difficult to pay. Um, they only accept check, and I really really hate dealing with checks. Like they call me, I don't I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't like dealing with checks because it takes a long time for the money to come out of your account. You know the money's not there, but you also know the money is there, right? Like, is there anyone else that's fallen victim to that? Like, oh, I know there's a check out there. Maybe I can stretch it another day or two or something like that. I haven't had to lately, but I just, I don't like the idea of there being money in my account when there's not really money in my account. It drives me nuts. You can see we uh, we backed up our chips with the, uh, <clears throat> whatchamacallits there. The brain's not working, guys. The Cheez-Its. We're gonna pull these 50 cent stickers off here and uh, try to scribble in a dollar. I need to bring my label maker with me the next time I visit this location and the next time that I visit uh, our other tire warehouse location. Uh, just so you guys know, um, I use a program called Vensoft that uh, if I have like notes that I need to leave for myself or like if I need to remember to do something next time, um, I can leave notes in my uh, Vensoft programs. And uh, it helps a lot in situations like that where you really need, <coughs> where you really need to do that. Got the old famous Amos. Can put all this stuff away now. It's time to get the pop tarts out. So these pop tarts are actually um, these are whole grain, whole grain. So they are kind of considered a healthy food. Uh, I had our Hyundai deal. This is another announcement. We have a lot of new stuff happening, guys. So uh, our Hyundai dealership got bought out. Like there's a new owner to the Hyundai dealership. 
and uh, they requested some healthy items and the vending machine. And um, I'm all about that. I'm cool with it. Um, I've tried healthy items in the past and they didn't work out so well, but maybe, uh, maybe these guys will be more open to tell me what they actually want in the vending machine. The last owner was really difficult and uh, he said, oh, I, I don't really use a vending machine. <laughs> I was like, well, I mean, why, why'd you want a vending machine then? <laughs> if you, if you, and no one there really used it. But uh, hopefully we'll be in a <coughs> good position now. I'm starting to put these danishes in everywhere that I go because they sell really, really well, guys. Um, that's another thing that Sam's Club couldn't do. They, uh, Sam's Club doesn't ship their danishes. I really wish they would. It'd be a lot better. Just gonna fill this sucker right full. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot something. I'm not sure what I forgot, but I did. <laughs> I've seen myself looking around for it. Oh, I had another one of these, and I was thinking about going out to the van and getting it. I decided not to. I decided to just use as much of this as I could. They, uh, at a, the next location I hit after this, they really, really like their cheese danishes. So we've got that bottom shelf pretty much done. You guys can kind of see how my new organization thing is working. It's not super organized, but it's working. I like it. I'll probably... What's going to happen in the near future, I think, is these tubs. I'm going to have one tub for every location and I'm gonna know I pretty much know what the locations need but I want to make sure that they are full 100% when I go in there because that's how you uh, that's how you get really big collections I needed my phone because we had a couple empty slots and I had pre-programmed what I wanted um, in Vensoft and in the uh, MoMA app from Nyax Shane, do, do, do. I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something. You can tell the last time we filled this machine, we didn't really fill it the way that I wanted to because we didn't have the right product. And uh, that happened with a couple locations because I just, I didn't have enough money and I didn't have the right products to completely fill the machines. And now, now we're starting to get into a position where everything is right. Everything's starting to work in work a lot better and we're getting the right products in the right places the machines are completely full when we leave we still have to <coughs> we still have to work out a couple of kinks because we no longer have the uh, sour skittles and the wildberry skittles you can see little bear over there putting the skittles back together for us uh, we've just got the standard skittles now we've got the good old grandma's cookies gotta have those She's trying to look for some payment for her work that she did. She knows if she works. <laughs> so this is something that uh, I have kind of instilled in Little Bear is uh, if she works, her time and her like what she's doing is worth something, right? So when she does something for someone, she expects to be paid for it or she expects something in exchange. So she'll always negotiate um, her wage or what what she'll get for doing whatever and it works the same way in the house like when when she does dishes she negotiates or she doesn't negotiate anymore because we came up with a deal but she gets paid to do the dishes now I am one of those weird people that think it's kind of counterproductive to tell your kids to do chores for free because then they grow up thinking that their time isn't really worth anything and I really want her to think that her time is really worth something. She needs, uh, she needs to get paid for stuff she does. And she needs to get paid a fair wage for it, you know. Hopefully she'll go into work for herself or something. But we'll see when that time comes. So, we've got the old Sour Patch Kids. I'm going to fill up this area here. You see, uh, we're doing a lot better with having, with having boxes specifically to their own areas <clears throat> you can see we're not mixing I think we mixed a couple of items in this one but we're not doing it quite as often um, you guys are gonna see the progression here as we go where 
we're not mixing anything at all, which will be pretty cool. I'm really excited for the day that we hit and uh, we get to that point where we have a box of everything that we possibly need, you know. And with the credit card readers, we'll know we'll know how much of each item we need to bring. It's going to be really, really nice what I can just have everything in one bin. I should probably try that. I think I'm going to try that the, the next time around on some of these locations. Just try to have everything pre-done and ready. Just throw it in a bin and call it good, right? So guys, we just hit the 20-minute uh, mark, or 20 minute and a half here. And uh, the, the second word, the second comment to this game of ours is going to be pre-kit. I want you guys to comment pre-kit if you've made it this far. And uh, that'll be your second comment of, what are we going to do? Are we going to do three or four? I don't know, we'll find out. I'm really excited to see if you guys can make it all the way through 42 minutes of me just loading up a machine. <laughs> so I had done a... Uh, I had done a video, or not a video, I did a uh, post on our community tab with a uh, with a poll in it, because the last video I released, it was just so fast that uh, <clears throat> it was really, really difficult to follow, and it was kind of like made your head dizzy, back and forth stuff. It was just too fast. It was not, it was not something I really am proud of. And uh, it showed in the comments. It definitely showed in the comments. And I really appreciate everyone's feedback on this stuff. So instead of uh, instead of speeding it up, like that was four times, I think, four and a half times sped up. It was very, very fast. Um, instead of doing that, I think we're going to stay with the uh, cap cam, but we're going to slow it down a lot. We're going to slow it down to... Uh, no more than double speed this is this is a little bit less than double speed that we have right here the original footage was an hour and 12 minutes long so oh look at that we had some we had a weird mix of stuff there didn't we oh we have two ro <coughs> we have two rows of uh, cookies and cream and I didn't mean to do that but anyways yeah guys I really appreciate everyone going out of their way and uh giving me feedback because it only it only helps me get better it really does it makes a massive difference when you guys do that for me so we're trying I probably put it should have put those uh, should have put those nutri grain or whatever those those fig newtons I probably should have put them closer to the front this uh, this new location or not new location it's uh, first time we've had snacks at this location when we get the combo machine in our dealership area or Hyundai dealership I think I'm gonna put those fig Newtons in there we're gonna put we're definitely gonna put the uh, we're definitely gonna put the pop tarts in there we're gonna try for like sun chips and some stuff to see see if we can get some of the healthy stuff to sell I know I've actually gotten emails from a couple of you in the past, um, curious about the healthy vending game, and we're going to try it again. We'll see what happens. I'll document it. And we'll see how it goes. You can see we got Little Bear there. <laughs> She's got a couple of backwards ones, a couple that aren't. She's learning. She's getting there. One of these days she'll be able to fill a vending machine all by herself. Is there still a backwards one there? Oh no, she fixed it. She's moving quicker than I am, though. You see her plopping that stuff right in there. <laughs> and Swedish fish. There we go. Got that. And I am going to put a second row of peanut M&Ms in here. And the reason being is peanut M&Ms and Snickers were the very first ones to disappear. And I got suggestions to do this in the past, uh, where I go through and uh, I take out what doesn't sell and put more of what does sell in and this what this allows you to do is it allows you to run um, it allows you to run lower percentages and higher amounts in your build acceptor I know some of the uh, some of the people that have been in this industry for far longer than I have are not fans of this 
I get it. You know, I un I understand why, but I'm trying trying really hard to make everything work for me, and it's getting there. You know, it's working well. I'm happy with the way it's going, and I think it's a, I think it's a good decision. Wow, we ran out of everything, didn't we? <laughs> Fortunately, right before I had serviced this machine, we had stopped at BJ's to pick up some products that we were running out of. I've got to make the long trip down. Or I, uh, I already made my uh, Coke order. Or not my Coke order. My, uh, I actually need to place a Coke order now that I stop and think about it. Oh, I did place one. Never mind. The email's right there. Uh... Sam's Club order. Man, that took forever for me to remember. Was she just putting her head in there? No, she's putting her arm in there. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Um, so, I had someone comment on the last video. It was, it was, about, uh, it was about trash. So, I actually, I have two locations that have no issue whatsoever with me using their dumpster. And this saves me a lot of money. <laughs> it's my tire warehouse locations. And what I do is I, uh, I save everything until I get there <laughs> and then throw it in. Uh, boxes, though, it doesn't matter. Boxes I can take to the dump for free. That doesn't cost me anything. So we made a mistake on this location in particular. Actually, this location and the next one. Um, we didn't buy any lemonade. I point right at it right there and I was like, oh no, I didn't buy lemonade. <laughs> I knew it was going to wind up being a problem. I think, I think I'm going to be able to show you guys a squishy bottle of water. Maybe. I can't remember. I can't remember if I'm going to be able to show it to you or not. But uh, I do believe there was a bottle here that turned out to be really squishy. Now, when you guys get water from your bottlers, make sure um, before you before you put your uh, water in, you squeeze the bottle a little bit, make sure that it's not, there's no give. Because when there's give in the bottle, the machines won't work. They'll get jammed up and it causes a lot of problems later. It's a real, can be a real pain. So I have a whole nother case of what, maybe it was in the case that we had a, uh, a junk piece of water, junk bottle of water. All right, so we've got that in there. We're gonna try to fill that back one up as much as we can so we can get the ginger ale filled up. These guys go through more <coughs> more ginger ale than any other location I have. I'm kind of shocked at it. So we're gonna fill this sucker right up. Oh, I dropped one. Continue to fill this sucker right up. It looks like it exploded, but it didn't actually explode. Oh, that can was still in pretty much perfect condition so this machine for those uh, for those of you that don't know the first machine we we're working on is a crane um, I can't remember the exact model number but it's a crane machine and the machine we're working on now is a Royal 660 machine <clears throat> a little bear went and got the, uh, the money bags that we're gonna be using there we go and we're about full up on this. I think this gentleman is waiting for a monster, if I remember well. But uh, the, you'll see often in my videos, you'll see these guys come over and talk to me. Um, I recommend taking the time and talking to your clients. Like just jibber jabber with them. You'll figure out what they like, um, toss them a drink every now and again. Uh, I'm really, really good friends with these guys. You know, see, I don't know if we're going to do one around Christmas time or not, but uh, if we do another another collection around Christmas time, I like to dress up as Santa and uh, go and service all my accounts. <coughs> Some <laughs> last year we did that. That video didn't do well at all, actually, but uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. I dressed up as Santa and went in there, filled up the machines. <laughs> Do you imagine your vending guy being Santa Claus? Excuse me. So uh, we got the old root beer. It's gonna be in the back row here. These guys go. Th I don't know what it is. It's not just this location. It's a couple other locations too. Uh, 
Uh, Sunkist has been a really big seller lately. It's been really solid. Um, but we're filling this up as we talk to him here. I got some uh, I got some comments about the clickbait on the last video. And uh, I have to use a little bit of clickbait for um, people who have never seen my channel before in order to try to draw them in so they can watch it. Um, sometimes sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, the last video, I agree with some of you guys, the clickbait was kind of like, I don't know, it wasn't really good clickbait. Um, I, try to be, I try to be as honest about my clickbait as I possibly can. But at the same time, I need to... That wasn't the whole point of the video, you know? That's why it failed. It didn't do well. So... <clears throat> this video, I think... Uh, I think we're going to stick with the... Just uh, servicing a vending machine or something. I don't know. Servicing a dealership location, something. We'll go with something like that. I'm not really sure what we'll do just yet. Guys, it's uh, we've made it about 31 minutes into this video and uh, what's our next cut? A no clickbait. That's what I want you to comment right now. No clickbait. Our game. We're going to do, I think we're going to do one more. Um, we're going to do one more after this. So we've got no, cl no clickbait which is the one we just did. Uh, we've got, what's the other one that we did? <laughs> we've got pre-kit, which is the one that we did at like 21 minutes or something like that. And I can't remember what the first one was now. We've got the old cherry Coke going in. These guys love their cherry Coke. I've got so much soda I have to refill in the pan. <laughs> We ran out of so much product on this run. But uh, we have uh, we have a minimum. Uh, our bank, the bank account is officially a minimum of $500, which is something that's never happened before. Uh, we're aiming for a thousand. We want to have a thousand dollar minimum. But uh, as of right now, we've got a $500 minimum and I'm really happy about it. Uh, we have uh, we have a couple more locations that are going to be ready to service here real soon. <clears throat> there we go. And that's it for I believe that's it for the. Uh, nope, this is the last cherry coke. I think we're only going to get like two or three in there, right? Uh, maybe six. One, two, three, four. Nope, four. Four is where it was. Huh, I didn't even see that before. Look at that. There's an extra water in there. So we're going to put all those in the overflow bin. You can see I'm jibber-jabbering it up with another guy there. But uh, as, as we're doing this, it's actually... Uh, there's a winter storm outside. That's pretty. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. It's not. It's not like super bad, but it was bad enough that uh, on the way home we got stuck in traffic because uh, tractor trailer truck jackknifed. It was rough. It was rough. We were there for like two hours. It was a long, long day. Both me and Little Bear were ready to be home, and we couldn't. got the sun kissed going in little bear wants to try to fill the soda machine so I'm gonna let her go ahead and try it look at her she's doing such a good job <clears throat> so little bear likes doing this but she doesn't like doing this like uh, she gets really really bored when we have windshield time I don't you know I don't really blame her if I was her age I would I would get really bored with the windshield time too. You can, <coughs> if you can, it's nice to keep the wind, windshield time to a minimum. That day, I think we had, <coughs> I think we had like three hours of windshield time. It was nuts. No, it wasn't that much. It was like two hours, probably two hours of windshield time. You 
can see we've got uh, the double column of coke, we've got a double column of monster, a triple column of water, and the rest are single columns is how we've got this machine set up. I really love that, uh, oh, little bear got a cookie. She is no longer interested in work. <laughs> Watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna wind up finishing everything because she got a cookie. She's just like, yep, I got what I wanted. You wanna finish my job for me? <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. You gotta love that stuff. So we've got that one out. Time to get another case in there. We're almost almost all set with this location. Let's see we've got uh one more, one more 24 pack of that. <coughs> I think we have a whole nother case of water we still gotta do and two cases of monster that we have to do. Switching to cans at this location was such a good idea. I, I was really struggling with the bottles. It was really hard to, it was really hard to actually like make profit on the bottles. <laughs> That's one thing that uh, I do have to give to my competition. My competition has no problem with doing bottles, and uh, I do. I, I don't like doing bottles. It's really not for me. My competition's all about it, though. So they can they can have those locate those locations. I know they're not making a whole lot of margin on them. Actually, right now is probably a good. Uh, good time to explain what happened there so you see for every I can fit 52 cans of soda in each of these columns right and I can sell each one of them for a dollar if I sell each one of them for a dollar I'm making about 75 cents a can now if I'm making 75 cents a can times 52 I don't have a calculator in front of me but um, that's pretty decent I can only fit 23 bottles. <laughs> I can only fit 23 bottles in there. And I only make a dollar a bottle. So that's literally, actually, I don't even make a dollar. I think I make like 70, yeah, I make 75 cents on a bottle too. So it's just, it's just really, really, the math doesn't make any sense. And uh, I thought, I thought <coughs> people preferred bottles, but my sales actually, my volume of sales increased when uh, I switched to cans at this location, which really shocked me, like really caught me off guard. Like the physical amount of cash flow went up. The dollar bills, coins, credit card sales, everything went up. This gentleman is sitting there waiting patiently for a monster. He's gonna offer to pay me and I'm just gonna hand it to him for free. That right there is how you keep customers for life, my dude. That is how you keep customers for life. They love that stuff. Guys, uh, we are at the 38 minute mark and I want you to comment customers for life. That's the last one I'm gonna do. But uh, if you do make it to the end, tell me about it. I wanna know that you made it to the end. <clears throat> but uh, every one of, almost every single one of the sales staff come up and talk to me for a little bit. Um, when I'm servicing these machines most of the time. And it happens, uh, it's that same way at all of my locations. I know it adds time to my, uh, to my service, and that's totally fine with me. I have no problem spending an extra 15 minutes because I'm jibber-jabbering and uh, having a location that will never ever let me go because of it. <laughs> I'm really... Uh, I'm really excited to uh, meet the new owners of the Hyundai dealership. That's going to be good. I actually got to, I should have saved that guy's number. I never saved his number. He called, he called the business line and asked about it. And uh, I thought he was going to kick me out. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm losing the location. Actually, I wasn't like, oh no. I was like, ah, well, you know, it happens. But uh, I'm super, super excited about that. Hopefully it's going to make things turn around there because that location was not doing so hot. I think uh, what does stink about it is they're closed down right now. So I've got a machine sitting in there just doing nothing, which kind of stinks a little bit. But it's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get that problem solved. We'll get that machine moved over into our, uh, our other place there and we'll be good to go. 
So I think from now on, when I'm doing uh, when I'm doing my uh, money counting thing, I'm gonna actually live stream it. Uh, a lot of you guys showed up to that live stream and uh, performed really well. Uh, people really enjoyed it. So we're definitely gonna continue to do that. That was uh, that was a really good decision. A lot of people liked it. I had fun with it, and uh, I think we'll we'll do like a money count at the end of the week or something. We'll save up all the money that we make for that week and count it before we deposit it. Be a whole bunch of fun. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and this is the last bet right here. We've got the coat going in, and uh, that's that's gonna do it. We've got a, about a minute and a half of footage left though, so we got something. Maybe we clean up or something. I don't know. What do we do? I must do something. We got something going on at the end of this here. That's it, and uh, water, that's what it is. We still gotta put the water in, guys. Still gotta put the water in. I'm sitting there, I'm trying to figure out what in the world do I do for the next minute? <laughs> we got the water going in. Actually, this was our last case of water. That's why I needed to make a Coke order. I needed to order another uh, 10 cases. So I have a 10 case minimum per order. I have to, ha I have to order at least 10 cases at a time. And uh, they bring it right over to my, uh, they bring it right over to my, whatchamacallit there, my uh, storage unit, which is really nice. Then I pick it up and bring it back here. <laughs> right now, anyways, because the uh, winter weather. But uh, hey, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you made it this far, comment below, let me know you did. Um, and I really look forward to seeing you guys at the podcast. Remember, the uh, link is in the description up top of everything else. It'll be the first thing that you see. Go over there, sub, turn on notifications. That way, right when you're done with seeing this, you can actually see me live on a podcast interview with uh, Forever Self-Employed. All right, guys, remember to love life and live your dreams. Peace.